What is up my friends? We are back after Liverpool have beaten Everton by two goals to nil in the Merseyside derby, condemning Sean Dyche's Blues to 18th place in the league table. Meanwhile for the Reds, surely this is the start of another epic fight back to get into the Champions League next season. I'm getting a little bit ahead of myself, but I think you'll forgive me. It's been a while since we've actually put in a performance, kept a clean sheet and got a decent result. So I'm absolutely flying right now. I'm going to give you my thoughts on the game. But as always, I want to know yours in the comment section. Do drop a like on the video and of course hit that subscribe button if you haven't already done so. Proud to say that all of our match day content is being sponsored by our friends at Circle. The football sweepstakes game where the winner is decided by events that happen live on the pitch and every single moment counts. Today we gave away six lots of money including that £97.50 there to Darren who won at the very end uh, in our countdown circle today. If you want to join us for future circles you need to be age 18 plus, you need to be a UK resident and you need to scan that QR code bottom left hand corner. Use the referral code Anfield Agenda on sign up. That way, when you deposit and place five pound in bets using that referral code, our friends at Circle will match that with five pound and free bets for you to use at your discretion. And it is a gambling product, so please gamble responsibly. Right now that we've paid the bills, let's get stuck into the performance. That was better. We knew we had to match Everton's intensity. We knew we had to match their uh, physicality, and we did that. And Robbo, right at the end of the game, typifies why I love him so much with the shit housery, with the winding up of Pickford and those Everton players. I think it's fair to say the referee let a little bit too much go in that game, for my liking. And I'm old school. I like a little bit of shit housery. I like players getting stuck in, but I do feel like there should have been a few yellows in the first half. But look, ultimately, I don't care. We got the win. That's the most important thing. And it sets us up for a massive game coming up against Newcastle at St. James's Park on Saturday. It's a half past five kickoff for that one. So you know what to do to join us for it. Get over to our Twitch channel channel and you'll be able to join us for that and delighted to say as well i'll be on the kickoff on wednesday so do keep an eye out for me over there come across and show your support if you can we're going to be doing the arsenal man city game with true jordy and the lads so very excited but today i have to say i'm still not convinced on fabinho i'm still not convinced that he's getting back to or anywhere close to his best but outside of that and a couple of iffy moments from matip i have very very little to be unhappy about Bajicic, once again, was my man of the match. I'm sure he was your man of the match. He was Sky's man of the match. How is that dude only 18? We have got ourselves an unbelievable player there for 200 grand from Celta Vigo. Unbelievable business by the club and unbelievable from Stefan to continue his development like that. Games don't come much more high tempo, much more physical than the Merseyside derby. And he showed that he belongs already at such a young age. So... I'm so looking forward to the future under him. Uh, Alice with a clean sheet, that was great. And how nice was it not to concede first today? Or not to concede at all, but to go ahead. I mean, wow. And it, well, it nearly came from an Everton goal, didn't it? They hit the post from a corner. And then we, like Liverpool of old, counter-attacked at tremendous pace. Darwin Nunes doing absolute bits on the left-hand side. Ball across to Mohamed Salah. Now look, answers on the back of a postcard. Where on earth was Jordan Pickford off to for that? I've no idea. I also don't care because Mohamed Salah spotted it, used his right foot and cushioned it into the goal that was very, very wide open. And we got the breakthrough. Finished it out in the second half with a great goal for Cody Gakpo. Good team goal, that one. Good build up down the right hand side. Beautiful ball across from Trent Alexander Arnold. And Cody Gakpo will not have a better way to open up his Liverpool account than in the Merseyside Derby at Anfield. That is a moment that young man will remember. And a great moment to get off the mark for Liverpool as well. Talking about his performance today, I thought Gakpo was really, really good. In the first half, you could see what he was about today. You can see why Klopp's speaking about him or briefing that he is another Bobby Firmino in his thinking. And by that, I mean today he was very clever. I'm sure it was under instruction, but I'm sure it didn't escape your notice. The Cody Gakpo was dropping very deep at times, particularly in the first half. That was allowing space in behind for Mohamed Salah and uh, Darwin to... to to create opportunities and to certainly attack that space. And when you do that, when Cody Gakpo or Bobby Firmino, as we're used to seeing in previous games, when they come deep like that to pick up the ball, one of two things has to happen. Either the centre-back has to track them into the middle of the pitch, thus creating space and less defenders for Darwin and Salah to move into, or he doesn't track them and then he gets to turn and have 10 yards around him in midfield and look to set up an attack. And I thought he did it really 
really well today. Some people were a little bit picky about him in the first half, but I knew what he was doing, and I knew that it was going to come good, and I knew, most importantly, that it was under instruction. He wasn't just coming out of frustration to get involved in the game. It was something Klopp specifically was telling him to do. So I thought our press was better. I thought our energy levels were better. Um, and look, I do think it's no coincidence that we finally seen a, a version of Jordan Henderson that we recognise, right? Much better performance from our captain. But again, 18-year-old in there in the centre of the park was dictating stuff. And I cannot speak highly enough of young Stefan Bajicic and that performance. I mean, it's a perfect night. Bar Darwin getting himself a goal, which maybe he should have done. I'm giving him a, a kind of goal. I don't know what... It's more than an assist because he deserves more than an assist for that sort of goal. It was outstanding. The timing of the pass, the drawing of the Everton players into the left channel, and then to see Pickford just going down the shop through a pint of milk. It was just beautiful. It was exactly what we wanted. Anfield looked like it was bouncing, and hopefully this is going to be the start of another epic Liverpool climb up the Premier League table. Look, it's a long shot, I know. We aren't, by any uh, stretch of the imagination, favourites to get a top four spot. But we've done ourselves no harm. Chelsea dropped points this weekend. Newcastle dropped points this weekend. Uh, Spurs went full Spurs, losing 4-1 to Leicester, dropping points. United dropped points midweek against Leeds, albeit they did beat them at Allen Road on Sunday. So others around us are slipping up. And finally, after the weekend, we've actually been able to capitalise on one of these opportunities. So all roads do lead to St. James's Park of the weekend. And I think I was worried. Look, I won't lie. I was worried about this game. If we couldn't get up for it for the Merseyside Derby, if we couldn't pick up something in this game at home to, to ignite our season, I didn't know what was going to. And obviously Real Madrid on the horizon as well, a massive game coming up on the 21st. So yeah, it's, it's maybe on. I don't know, but I know I'm feeling better about life. And I know the world's always better after Liverpool win, particularly winning a derby as well. So I hope all of my Scouse brothers and sisters are walking around with a bit of a pep in their step, no pun intended there. Uh, but for me, I'm just I'm relieved, I'm happy, and I'm looking forward again. Because I don't know about you guys, but over the past few months, it's been... It's been tough going. You don't know what Liverpool's going to show up. That performance at Brighton was all kinds of wrong. But today, we've started to see that fight back again. And I hope that what Klopp always believed, that we'd be stronger in the second half of the season. I hope that is the case because it looks like we're heading in the right direction. Having no Thiago for a few weeks is going to be a big miss, of course. Having no Ibu. But how great was it to see Diogo Jota and Bobby Firmino getting minutes on the pitch, and Virgil van Dijk being on the bench as well. I'm sure that lifted the spirits of everybody around them. And I want to just point out one thing before I go. Jurgen Klopp's brilliant man management skills, his genius in taking Stefan Bajtisic off just at the end of the game, allowed him to receive a rupturous round of applause from everybody inside Anfield. And that will give him, I'm sure, a huge uh, boost of confidence. Not like he needs it. He's performing brilliantly. But I thought it was expertly done from Jurgen Klopp and he knew exactly what he was at. So that is it for me, my friends. Do keep an eye out for the player ratings, which is going to be coming uh, soon. And it's going to be nice to do a player ratings video where I don't have to just rant and moan because... I've got a lot of positive things to say. So looking forward to that. Do drop a like on this video if you've enjoyed it. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section. And I will talk to you soon, my friends. The Reds have won 2-0. We're on the way.